Adolf Hitler is, without a doubt, one of the most controversial and hated personalities in world history, and for good reason. His beliefs, opinions, and ideals led humanity to war, causing widespread death and destruction. Nevertheless, he is an integral part, albeit negative, of this planet's history, so we should better understand the personality traits a man capable of such heinous acts as Hitler possessed. Hopefully, by looking into the past and studying Hitler's horrible personality, we can prevent a man like him from rising to power. So, we present to you 25 facts about Hitler that you may not have known. Due to Hitler's fear of how his marriage to Eva Braun would affect his image, their union was postponed for many years. They only married in a civil ceremony after Germany's defeat. Tragically, both were found dead the next day, Hitler by suicide and Braun by a cyanide capsule. Jelly Rabel, Hitler's niece, had once lived in his Munich flat while studying medicine. When rumors of her relationship with Hitler's personal chauffeur surfaced, he became possessive and controlling of her. Upon his return from a brief meeting in Nuremberg, Hitler found his niece's body, apparently having shot herself with his gun. Hitler wanted the Vatican to recognize his power, so in 1933, the Catholic Church and the German Reich signed an alliance whereby the Reich was guaranteed the Church's protection, but only if they remained committed to exclusively religious activities. This agreement was broken, however, and the Nazis continued engaging in anti-Catholic activities. During World War II, with Pope Pius XII's authorization, a rite of remote exorcism was performed on Hitler. It is not difficult to guess that the right, not backed up by tank strikes, was useless. After the Nobel Prize was banned in Germany, Hitler developed his own version, the German National Prize for Art and Science. Ferdinand Porsche was one of the recipients for creating the world's first hybrid car and the Volkswagen Beetle. Hitler's attitude towards Jews also displayed psychopathic tendencies. He desired to build dozens of gallows for Jews at Marienplatz, and unfortunately, this escalated to millions of victims in concentration camps. Hitler's original intention was to create a museum of an extinct race to house his collection of Jewish artifacts. When Paris fell to German control in 1940, the French cut the Eiffel Tower's lift cables, hoping to force Hitler to climb the stairs. However, he decided against it, avoiding climbing over a thousand stairs. Hitler originally planned to shut down the cosmetics industry to free up funds in a war economy. However, to not disappoint Eva Braun, he decided to close it down gradually. Hitler often praised the effectiveness of the American genocide of Native Americans, indicative of his disturbing worldview. Hitler had artistic inclinations. When he moved to Vienna in the 1900s, he originally thought of pursuing a career in art. He even applied to join Vienna's Academy of Art but was rejected due to his unsuitability for painting. Hitler grew up in an authoritarian family environment. His father, an Austrian customs official, was known for his strictness and temper. It has also been noted that Hitler adopted many of his father's personality traits. While recovering from a gas attack during World War I, Hitler learned that an armistice had been reached, signaling the end of the war. This announcement made Hitler angry and sparked his belief that the Germans had been betrayed by their own leaders. When it became apparent that the Germans were about to be defeated in the Battle of Stalingrad, Hitler expected the army's leader to commit suicide. However, the general remarked, I'm not going to kill myself over this Bohemian corporal, and surrendered in 1943. Hitler's first love was a Jewish girl named Stephanie Isaac, but he never spoke to her. According to his close friend, Hitler had contemplated kidnapping Stephanie and dying alongside her by jumping into a river. In an interview, Isaac said she had no idea how Hitler felt. 
Adolf Hitler never bore the surname Schickelgruber. It was his father's surname until 1876, which he later changed to Hitler. Otherwise, people would have had difficulty pronouncing Hitler's full name, Adolf Schickelgruber. It was discovered that one of Hitler's close friends and personal drivers had Jewish descent. Key officials in Hitler's party recommended his expulsion from the SS. However, Hitler made an exception for him and his brothers, considering them honorable Aryans. Hitler had his way of paying off debts of gratitude. When he was a child, his family couldn't afford the expensive services of a professional doctor. Fortunately, the Jewish-Austrian doctor never charged him or his family for medical services. When Hitler came to power, the doctor earned the eternal gratitude of the Nazi leader. He was released from a concentration camp, given proper protection, and titled, Noble Jew. Early in his political career, Hitler was called as a witness and cross-examined for three hours by a Jewish lawyer named Hans Litten. During Nazi rule, this Jewish lawyer was arrested, tortured for five years, and finally committed suicide. Hitler was on friendly terms with Walt Disney. He described Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs as one of the best films at the time and even drew some of the dwarves for the cartoon. Drawings of gnomes and a sketch of Pinocchio were exhibited in a Norwegian museum, and Adolf Hitler's initials and signature were left on the paper. It's hard to believe, but the Fuhrer could be the creator of our favorite cartoon characters. His body was buried four times before finally being cremated, and his ashes were scattered to the wind. Initially sporting an upward twisted, long mustache, Hitler later trimmed it to the iconic toothbrush style, citing ease of securing his gas mask. A 95-year-old German woman revealed an incredible fact about Hitler. She was the Führer's food taster for almost three years. She didn't talk about it for a long time, and even her husband didn't know about it. Besides her, there were 14 other people in the food station, any day of which could have been her last. The woman admitted that she did not tell anyone because she never supported fascist ideas. She only followed her husband to the dictator's headquarters in Poland. It is believed that Hitler wore a mustache because he thought it made his nose look smaller. During the 1936 Summer Olympics, held in Germany, Hitler refused to shake hands with black participants, including American Jesse Owens, who won four gold medals. He sent a congratulatory card afterwards. President Roosevelt did not acknowledge the victories of African-American athletes, he simply ignored Owens's achievements. Even as the guiding force of Germany, the Führer remained at the rank of a non-commissioned officer until the end of his days. Thus, field marshals were obliged to take orders from a man ranked far below them. Hugo Jaeger was Hitler's personal photographer. Throughout the turmoil, Jaeger remained very loyal to Hitler. To avoid criminal liability for his association with Hitler, the photographer decided to hide his photos of the Nazi leader. Nevertheless, he eventually sold the photos to Life magazine for a lot of money in 1955. 